He says white black men will only serve one to three years in prison for killing Asian women. Um, let's see that guy. He's let's see he um, in a plea deal agreed with Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg, <laughs> the one who tried to lock up Trump. The male African American assailant who killed Than. Hatui, back in 2021, will only serve one to three years in prison. Miss Hatui was exiting the Canal Street subway station on July 17, 2021, with her son for a day of shopping and a visit to the Buddhist temple in Chinatown. When David Robinson grabbed the son's backpack, causing the mother and the son to fall down a flight of stairs. The 58-year-old mother sustained severe head trauma and fell in the fall and succumbed to her injuries 10 days after the attack. Robinson was captured a couple of months ago. I remember that. Ago. Yeah. That was like headline news. However, Robinson was arrested in September of 2021 and charged with first-degree manslaughter. The DA's office cited difficulty in winning a conviction to the Hatui family and later allowed Robinson to plead guilty to second-degree manslaughter with a sentence recommendation of one to three years. Robinson has been incarcerated since his arrest in 2021 and has already served more than 14 months in jail and can technically be released at this very moment. For time served. <laughs> wow. But that's how the criminal justice system works, man. Um, that's how it works, man. I mean, we see it every day, man, on the channel, man. That's that that's this is not surprise, shouldn't be surprised. Salute to Deluxe 247, aka Cal Rookin, aka the real MVP coming through once again. Lux be putting y'all to shame, man. Deluxe is the fucking goat, man. Well, no, Christie's the goat. Deluxe is the MVP. Um, let's see. Damn, one to three years. Yikes. That's something, man. Win it, man. Um, I want to see that. That guy, because I know that guy that we just saw, he he got a couple of videos. He does that shit. Who is this? Is this Tookie? Oh, shit. Remembering, remembering the family gunned down by Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> Nominee Tilky Williams. <laughs> y'all, y'all all hit one if you know Tilky Williams, man. Tilky Williams, man. He was a gang member who got um Crips founder wrote a bunch of kids' books or something, right? Yeah. I remember Snoop Dogg was at the prison. Um Jamie Foxx, all of Yeah, them, all the celebrities was trying to stop the execution. Yeah. yeah. Exactly, man. So let's see what he did, man. Um, yeah, he oh yeah, he got killed in two two thousand five, executed in two thousand five after Governor Schwarzenegger. Yeah, they, Schwarzenegger was the governor back then. That's crazy. Arnold Schwarzenegger was the governor of California. They just yeah, insane. I remember Snoop Dogg was so angry, and I'm like, why? Like, dude, killed people. Yeah, um, many African American community. Leaders lambasted California officials for the 2005 for refusing to grant clemency. However, the very same leaders always bring up the murder of 15 year old Latasha Harlins by a Korean store owner, Soon Ja Du, in 1991, every time they need to belittle the Asian community. Um, in the early morning of February 29th, 1979, Tukey Williams and three other accomplices. Entered a 7 Eleven located at Whittier Boulevard in Whittier 
and approached the 26-year-old clerk, Albert Lewis Owens. Two of Williams' accomplices started emptying the cash register as Williams pointed a shotgun at Owens and forced him to walk to the back of the store. Williams shot at a security monitor and then shot Owens twice in the back at point-blank range, killing him as he lay prone on the storeroom floor. Less than two weeks after murdering Owens on March 11th, 1979, Williams broke into the Brook Haven Motel located in South Vermont Avenue in South Central Los Angeles. The hotel was run by 76-year-old Yin Yi Yang, his wife, 63-year-old Sai Shai Si Yang, and their 43-year-old daughter, Yu Chin Yang Lin. The Yang family was actually preparing to sell the business because the neighborhood had deteriorated, according to prosecutors. William entered the motel lobby and then broke down the door that led to the private office. Inside the office, William shot and killed Yin Yi, Sai Shai, and Yu Chen. He then emptied the cash register and fled the scene. Robert Yang, the couple's son, was asleep with his wife in their bedroom at the motel and was awakened by the sound of somebody breaking down the door to the motel's office. Shortly thereafter, he heard a female scream, followed by gunshots. Robert entered the motel office and found that his mother, sister, and father had all been shot and the cash register was empty. The forensic pathologist testified that Yin Yi Yang suffered two close-range gunshot wounds, shotgun wounds, one to the left arm and abdomen, the other to the lower left chest. Sai Shai also received two close-range wounds, one to the tailbone and the other to the front of the abdomen, entering the navel. Yu Chen was shot once in the upper face area at a distance of two feet, according to a wiki wand. Multiple witnesses testified Williams referred to the victims in a conversation with friends as Buddha heads. The Yang family were immigrants from Taiwan, and Yu Chen recently arrived to the United States to help run the hotel. Wow. Wow. So that's what Tuki was in jail for. Those two, those four murders. Damn. I took you a bad dude, man. Shout out to Tuki, man. Tuki was about that life, man. Tuki was a nigga, man. Shout out to Tuki, man. Tuki was a real one, man. Tuki was a real one. Real, man. Tuki was real, man. He was a real one, man. You know what I'm saying? Feel me, yo? Yeah. 